Panshika, a cloud support engineer here at the AWS office in Bangalore. Today, I'm going to show you how to troubleshoot DNS resolution issues in private hosted zones. Let's get started. First, let's take a look into these options from the AWS Management Console. In the AWS Management Console, navigate to the Amazon Virtual Private Cloud Console. As a prerequisite to make private DNS resolution work, we must be sure of some basic checks that the VPC should fulfill. To verify these, we can navigate to the VPC that you associated to the private hosted zone. Under the description tab, confirm that the DNS resolution and DNS host names options are set to enabled. Next, check the DHCP options set of that VPC, which opens the DHCP options associated to that VPC. Here, be sure that the domain name server is Amazon provided DNS. In case there are custom servers mentioned here, configure these custom servers to forward queries for the desired private domain over to the VPC DNS resolver. For the remainder of the checks, let's move over to the Amazon Route 53 console and check the hosted zone configuration. In the Route 53 console, choose the hosted zone radio button for that domain to confirm that the private zone is attached to the VPC where you're trying to query the private hosted zone from. You can see this in the associated VPCs list on the right panel. If the private hosted zone is attached to several VPCs, you might find it cumbersome to verify the association of a particular VPC to that hosted zone. To make it easier to pass through the list, use the AWS command line interface command, get hosted zone, as shown on the screen. Navigate to the terminal where the AWS CLI is set up, and then run the get hosted zone command. This command returns a list of all VPCs that are associated with the private hosted zone. You can also run the list hosted zones command to fetch the list of all hosted zones in the AWS account. To do so, run this command. Check the hosted zones list for any hosted zones with overlapping namespaces attached to the VPC you're looking at to rule out the possibility of a more specific domain routing. Now, let's head back to the AWS Management Console to check for other possibilities. For example, if you're setting up a subdomain for a privately hosted domain, you must set up a brand new private hosted zone for that subdomain because subdomain delegation isn't applicable for private hosted zones. If you're facing issues in routing traffic to a particular record, navigate to that specific record and verify that the routing policies for the private zone are a supported configuration, which can be simple routing, multi-value answer routing, failover routing, or weighted routing. As the final check on the Route 53 console, navigate to the Resolvers tab. Then, in the Rules section, check if there are any forwarding rules set up for your domain. Because these custom rules take precedence over the private hosted zone. If you're using an outbound endpoint in your setup, then traffic is diverted away from the VPC DNS resolver. Having completed the checks on the VPC and Route 53 side, Let's head over to an EC2 instance within the VPC associated to the private hosted zone. Here, we need to ensure that the Amazon provided VPC DNS resolver is being used for DNS resolution. As an example, here we have a Linux based EC2 instance. We can check the DNS resolver that is configured to be used for DNS resolution by checking the contents of the resolve.conf file. In other platforms like Windows or Mac OS, you can check or modify the DNS resolver configuration based on the settings as per the operating system. This concludes the preliminary checks for private domain hosting in Amazon Route 53. Rest assured, you should now be able to query the privately hosted domain from an instance in the attached VPC. Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS.